This is the Cirrus Trojan, the most simple and effective way to measure noise nuisance. To boot up the system, all we need to do is take the mains adapter and plug it into a socket. The instrument will automatically start up and is now ready for a measurement. On the Trojan case there are two connections. One is the mains lead that we've just plugged in, the other is the microphone which is responsible for taking the noise measurements. All that the user needs to do now is calibrate the instrument using the acoustic calibrator that is supplied as part of the kit. This can ensure that the instrument is measuring accurately. Now we press the start key. Once this has been pressed the instrument is running and continually logging and storing noise levels. All a complainant would need to do when they hear the alleged noise nuisance is to take one of the remote controls, either one of the wireless units or the hardwired hand switch and press the button to start an audio recording. At this point not only are the noise levels being logged but the audio is also being recorded at high quality which allows the officer to identify what was causing the nuisance at that time. There are several fail safes on the Trojan system, one of which ensures that the instrument will automatically start measuring 10 minutes after it has been plugged in, even if the start button has not been pressed. Similarly, if the complainant forgets to press the stop button and end the audio recording, the instrument will automatically stop the audio recording after a predetermined time, normally set to 5 minutes. This will save you having hours and hours of audio to play back and listen to. The backup batteries give approximately 12 hours of operation. If the mains power fails or if the instrument is unplugged, it will continue to operate on its batteries. When the power is restored, the unit will revert back to mains operation. If the power is off for more than 12 hours, the unit will restart and continue once power is restored. The only time you'll have any gap in your measurements would be during a prolonged power failure. As soon as the officer has started the Trojan running, they will close the case so the complainant can just see the two LEDs for power and audio recording. Supplied with the equipment is a padlock and security tag to secure the equipment and prevent any tampering. Once the officer is ready to come and collect the equipment, they unpadlock the case, open it up and press the stop key. The measurement data is automatically saved and is now ready for download into the Noise Tool software package.